Hello, my name is Omar Farouk Tek Black. Today, I would like to talk about the most common styles and the musical instruments used in Turkey and the Middle East. And I will demonstrate some of the musical instruments. Now I will talk about the wind instruments. This is the ney, which is the, used in the religious music very commonly. It is made of uh, from the bamboo reeds, but uniqueness of the this ney is it has to be a nine piece. Even it's this size, or I have all the other size that are even the smallest size. It has to be a nine section because it helps the getting the three and a half octaves range, which is, is like so it helps. If it's sometimes they make it eight, but we don't we, we don't have two two three three notes from the top. So it helps. And it is the uh, it's a hello tube. It's open end. The, the, the way we blow is like a side blowing as a whistle makes the sound or this way. And there are, as I said, it's a small size, which is, is the piccolo. So it has a very high pitch sound and this is the lowest I have. Also there is a little difference between the Arabic ney because uh, ney is originally coming from Arabian countries. They found one in the Egyptian pyramids, inside the pyramids. There was one ney exactly the same uh, 5,000 years ago, so it's been used. But in modern day though I should add, add that too, normally it is a six six hole and the one is bottom but because of the first note is only one step whole step the rest is chromatic so i open this another half note which i made it chromatic all the way so this is what i use i in enhanced it so it is but it is authenticity is this still same and the difference between the arabic ney and the turkish ney the Arabic nays comes like without, uh, we call it bashbare, headpiece, which could be made uh, from horn, bo uh, bones also, but also nowadays mostly it's a film plastic, it's fantastic. <laughs> plastic is fantastic. So they use plastic tub of, actually this makes it, uh, the sound is different, it, it, it sharpens the sound, because the, when you be below directly to the wood, it absorbs the high end. It is a little warmer and mellower sound. When we blow with this bashbare headpiece, it gets sharpened, so it emphasizes the high end. So this is the difference between Arabic and Turkish nays. Also another one, as the same principle blowing thing is the same, is a hello tube. 
There is a kaval, which is this is the kaval, which is small size, is like a piccolo flute, and then also kawala. I have different sizes, uh, which is the one octave uh, lower. So this is like it's it's not like a nay, but playing style is different though, because it's not chromatic, it's diatonic. Everything is one note. It's like. So the minor and major comes with the pressure of the wind, the way I blow, but also help, I help with the fingers to get the minor and major notes. So this is the kawal, but this is a kawala. It has deeper sound than that. This is we call kawala, which is the lower tone of the kawal. So another wind instrument is very popular in folk music is the zurna. Zurna comes with different sizes. It is very common played from all the way to Balkans and all the way to Middle East, even Northern Africa, Tunisia, all the way there. They use zurna and they also call zimmar or mizmar in Arabic. But surprisingly, when it goes down, it gets smaller. From Balkan, its size is very big, almost like a mini clarinet. Then when it comes to the East Turkey, gets this size. When it goes to North Africa, they get even Egypt, they get even smaller, smaller size. But playing style is the same. It is also the same as Kawal. It's a diatonic instrument. There is no health and health notes. We have to adjust with the blowing pressure and with the finger. So, but another thing that there is a mouthpiece we put on the top, which is the hello tube. Originally, it is normally it's like a hello tube, but then then we have special conic wood we put on it, and then we tie the bottom of it, and then we squeeze it, make it double uh, double edge. They sometimes they say it's a double reed labo boa, but no. Oboa has two reeds tied together, but Zurna's reed is hello tube smashed, make two edges for it so that it can vibrate. It's like a bird. So there is another wind instrument, it's called May, M-E-Y. You will see the picture of it. And it's played in the eastern part of Turkey. It's a folk instrument. But also in Armenia, it's used very, very similar, almost same. But 
the playing style is different. In the May, we grab the everything, all the reed goes in the mouth, which has a little bit noisy sound. But in the duduk, they just touch on the tip of it, so it has very mellow sound, which is they call this is very closest to human sound. It's very touchy and emotional uh, playing style in the Armenian style. There is another wind instrument. It's used mostly southern uh, Turkey, Mediterranean sea coast, which is from made bamboo. It's a small bamboo like, like this size, but there is a reed, very different style reed. It's a piece of tube. They cut the half of it. They chop it like halfway. So when they blow, so it resonates and makes the sound. It's very sweet sound and it's used in the folk music. There is also tulum, which is uh, mostly used in the northern, northern part of Turkey, in Black Sea, which is exactly the same thing, scotch bagpipe. But uh, the reed style is different, but it's exactly, it is made from the animal skin and then attach the playing kawal on the top of it. So they squeeze it instead of blowing and the, the skin blows into the uh, instrument and makes the sound. It's very beautiful very happy sound. Also, there is a clarinet used in Turkish music, in classical music and folk music too, in the eastern part of Turkey or southern Turkey also. But the clarinet we use, we call G clarinet, which is the lower tonality, but also they mostly use the open holes so they can control the quarter notes. But sound is the same as the western clarinet. So thank you. We will see you in the next episode, inshallah.